Hey, I'm Eric. Could computers and robots see better than humans in the very near future? MIT researchers recently announced that polarization of light could potentially improve computer vision by up to 1,000 times. Polarization is a property of light that human vision doesn't really take advantage of. Current 3D imaging systems have two primary means of finding out where things are. For instance, the way your Microsoft Kinect sees you in front of it is using two different elements. One is a visual camera, and the other is an infrared grid that it's projecting onto you and then reading. By seeing the size of the squares of the grid, it's able to tell roughly how close things are to it on a very broad scale. After it knows roughly where the objects are in the scene, it can figure out where their edges are by looking for edges in the camera image from the normal visible light camera. What the MIT researchers are proposing improves computer vision by allowing it to see the curvature of objects in 3D space. In a way, it will work pretty similar to how digital photography works now. Inside your digital camera, there is a sensor, which just has lots and lots of pixels that are photosensitive. But those sensors can't tell the difference between different kinds of light. They can only tell how much light is hitting the sensor at a given point. The way that digital cameras can tell the color of light is using something called a Bayer filter, where certain pixels are assigned to blue, green, and red by having tiny little filters in front of them. We have twice as many green filters as red and blue because human vision is better at noticing differences in green color. So essentially your digital camera is recording three lower resolution images of green and red and blue and then compositing them together. What the 3D sensors of the future may do is exploit polarization by having polarizing filters as well as color filters in front of their sensors. This will allow them to tell the orientation of objects in three-dimensional space. This works because objects with different orientation reflect light and at the same time polarize it. The amount and orientation of the polarization tell you the orientation of the surface relative to the camera. The computer can combine these different images in order to produce a very highly detailed three-dimensional map. You can learn more about how this works in my previous video about polarization. One limitation of using polarization is that a particular polarization and its opposite are impossible to distinguish. Polarization gives much more fine-grained detail, but it has this ambiguity. Lasers will give the image low resolution, but unambiguous distance information, and polarization will be used to fill in the fine details. If you're taking a picture of, for instance, a ball, polarization will tell you the exact curvature along the surface of the ball, but it won't be able to tell the difference between a ball and a bowl. The curvature could be inward or it could be outward. By using the rough depth map in combination with polarization, you can solve that puzzle. This could potentially give computers the ability to see even better than the naked eye because we are completely missing all of this information. For instance, if we're looking for a person in the woods who's wearing camo, we try to sense the edges of their body by looking for edges in the image, and that's very difficult to do. We also look for the depth to that person using our binocular vision, but that can be frustrated by the fact that there are leaves and branches that are different depths away from us, potentially all moving. Polarization can give an advantage in that scenario because it's able to detect the smoothness of the surface of the clothing that's camouflaged that the person is wearing and how that surface is very different from the surface of the leaves. I'd be willing to bet that this technology will be used within the next five years for all kinds of imaging purposes, for everything from scanning 3D objects to use for 3D printing to finding enemy combatants in the woods. It could all be done completely by computers at a much higher detail than humans would be able to detect with the naked eye. Thanks to Cutter Slade for suggesting this topic, and thanks to you for watching.